Hey guys, Anne with CNSave.com, starting up another vlog, and I uh, woke up to three sales this morning. It's Monday, by the way, and yeah, here we go. This is a Dr. Pepper bag. I got this at a Goodwill sale. I think I paid a buck and a half for it. It's been sitting around, sitting around, sitting around. Finally put it down to $8.88, and that's what it sold for. I, for a while there was trying to get bags. I just don't have good luck with bags. So I think my bag experiment, like totes and stuff is over. <laughs> um, this is a men's starter fleece. I got this at Goodwill for less than $2. And again, it put it on sale. It sold for $9.99. And then this is a vintage men's kayak nylon jacket. I love to find these in good condition. I did this one. Um, I did have it up for... What did I? It sold on sale for $17.49. So double that is what I originally had it up for because it's half off. Um, the buyers paid shipping on all of these items. I'm back to uh, buyers paying shipping unless it's um, like first class and I can build the price in and not make it too much. But otherwise, I am back to buyers paying shipping because I honestly see absolutely no difference in my sales, free shipping versus. Um, having the buyers pay so I'm back to having the buyers pay because something like this I haven't done the label yet but you know if this is going to California or even Hawaii or Alaska it's gonna be a lot even though it's just a couple pounds it's gonna be a lot so yeah back forget the free shipping stuff like I said unless I can easily build it in um, to the price well I'm at Target and it's pouring rain <laughs> Um, but I wanted to come out and see if the Valentine's Day stuff was at 90% off now so I could post that to my blog and to social media. This video won't go up until Wednesday. So um, for these kind of time-sensitive deals, make sure you're following my blog, cnsave.com. Make sure you are following me on Instagram, Facebook, and or Twitter because that's where I post um, sometimes. If I don't get to the blog, it just goes on those. So make sure you're following me to keep up with that. I know I have an umbrella in this car. Where is it is the question. I think it's in the trunk. And I was like, it, there'll be nobody here because of the rain, but it's packed. And I remember that's President's Day. Everybody has like off school and stuff. So ugh. anyway, off to inside to uh, see what I can find. Well, it is gone. They must have gone to 90% yesterday here. They're all out here getting the uh, Easter candy out. There's nothing Valentine's Day. So, oh well. It's funny because no one was saying 90% off yesterday. Like online chatter so hmm oh well I'll see a couple key end units here to see what they have don't think same stuff although mine does this where they put 15% off or more then the label might be different and then you gotta scan stuff so <sighs> Okay, now I'm going to go over to Gordman's because they're having a 50% off clearance, 50% extra clearance. And I'm going to do that. Hold on, I'm going to check the clearance close here, see if there's anything interesting to find. Okay, getting ready to go into Gordman's. Um, Gordman's it used to be called the half price store back in the day, like 15 or so years ago. And then the Gordman family bought it and changed to Gordman's. It's basically like a lower end TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They don't carry the big designer names, but they do have some brand names. Um, and they will carry like an entire line of stuff. So, you know, when you go to TJ Maxx, you can find like one of something. Well, here they'll have racks of the same thing. So they do their buying differently. Uh, but they're supposed to be having an extra 50% off the lowest clearance price and back when I had my gift business and I bought wholesale to resell on eBay and Amazon I did come to Gordman's frequently to source during their clearance events usually purses so haven't done that in a long time though but um, yeah I'm gonna go in and see what I can find
I always carry a lot of the South Pole stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to look up. I don't know. But I'll look through. See what might look good to resell. Hmm. Time to go through it all. Maybe seven bucks. Gotta be careful because some of them are damaged. Um, but I'm digging through, seeing what I can find. The brands here are so weird. They're such weird brands. But I did find some good men's stuff. I'm trying to find things that are less than ten bucks. Just because I like to buy as cheap as possible. Although, I think I got a couple purses. Oh, sure. <laughs> Yep, me talking to myself in the aisle. <laughs> like, what is this brand? La Liqui. Never heard of it. Weird. A lot of Rosetti, too, which is not good, but some gems. I hit the mother load. These Izods are going to be $7.50, and they're like four, five, three X's. And some are talls. Woohoo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm a little, a little sweaty there. That was a lot, but, um,. I got some really good stuff. I spent about $360 in there, $366 maybe in change. I had $20 in credit, which they have a reward, free rewards thing. I forgot I even had it. So $20 went to my total. So it was half off the lowest ticketed price. And I spent about that same amount of money the other day at TJ Maxx and I got like way better stuff here and for a lot less money. Like I got at least twice as much here than I got at TJ Maxx, maybe triple um once I found the men's uh big and tall that was exciting you know I told you that the brands here aren't going to be those high-end ones but I got a lot of Izod which does you know I sell that um I got some Nicole Miller and Kenneth Cole reaction purses a guest couple guest bags maybe or at least one um, but I just got a lot of big and tall stuff, and that's the stuff that always sells really well for me. I didn't even look at the women's. It took me forever to check out. My cart was so tall. Um, so this was a one-day only sale, but if I recall correctly, they go down further. They should probably have like an extra 66% off clearance coming up. Uh, so I just have to watch the ads and check online. Um, so I can see when they have those because they're usually one day only things. Um, so yeah, if you have a Gordman's in your area, it's definitely worth checking out when they do these, you know, extra clearance uh, events. So yeah, I will definitely haul this stuff for you uh, when I get home. So that's coming up next or well, I don't know if I'll do it today, maybe tomorrow. I'll do it. I, the haul video will be in this video. How's that sound? Okay, got to go home now. Ooh, look at it all, Luli. Lucy is super excited. She's like, let's do a haul video, Mom. Let's get Papa and want to do a haul video. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> you're now live on camera. I think I'm alive. You think you're live. So your Dad's going to help me go through my haul. Now it's half off whatever the lowest price was. So wherever you want to start, Dad. Well, what do you want me to do? Why don't you do some of those T-shirts? Because, These? yeah. I got multiples of a lot of stuff, so I'm not sure... I think all those shirts were, what was the yellow tag on them, say? Yeah. Can you find the yellow, the price sticker on it? No, the yellow. $8. Yeah, so it was four. Yeah. Oh, half of that. Yeah, so it was half of the lowest price. So we've got, and this, what size is that? See, I got all big and tall. It's humongous. Four times. 4XL. 4XL, yep. So there's that one. Another one. What size is that one? The Jack Skeleton. 4XL. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> I got a lot of Pokemon. And I think they were all four too. Yep. Why don't you just like hold one up? They're like four X's and three X's, I think, in all these. Yeah, okay. So there's that one. That's a different design. Oh, no, that's another Jack Skeleton. So I can make multiple, or I can do multiple quantity listings. So that'll go much better. Okay? 
$4. Yeah. Well, that's a cheap price. <laughs> Lucy's like, I want to show something too. More Pokemon. You just want to show quick because they're all they're all going to be four dollars. Okay, and there, yeah, those are the same. That design. I don't know what this is, but it was cheap, so I got it. Done, done. It's got antlers on it. What brand is that? Real, real tree by Buckhorn River. Mm, okay. Well, it's a big size, so. It's a normal size. 453 degrees. 450 degrees. That's a new size. Four XL? Yeah, I think. More Pokemon. Yeah, another. Yeah, you already showed that one. I got a. I just grabbed all of them since they were in the big and tall and they were only four bucks. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, that's the great thing. And I have multiples. More Pokemon. Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> Lucy, are you gonna catch them all? Then they did have some Disney. Got Mickey Christmas. More Pokemon. <laughs> We've showed that style already. Yeah, okay. And a couple Snoopy, I think. I found two, maybe. Peanuts. Yay! Christmas peanuts. Another one of those Pokemon. <laughs> no, I know they're, they're kind of the same. They're sort of different. To make sure I don't screw up my listings when I'm doing them. Okay. Yep. <laughs> you don't even know what Pokemon is, do you? It's some video game, I think. I don't even know really what it is. Okay. Yeah. You're not playing video games these days. You gave up on it. Same thing. Yep. And another Peanuts. Yep. <laughs> There's a different one. What's that one? Oh, it's a Minion. Or is that a Minion? I guess. Yeah. Minions. Yeah. What size is that Halloween one there? You show that again? I think I missed it. Dun, dun, da, dun, 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 dun. I, well, I don't know. It says 2XL. Then it's a 2XL. 2XG. And okay, it's a 2XL. The first one is English. Okay. <laughs> Show it again because you put it down. Oh, my God. I know. Come on. Your tall skills are slight. There you go. Okay. I think that one was only three bucks. And another. Okay, you didn't show that shirt either. I did too. This is the one that's No, you put it down. Oh my God. Okay. All right. That's enough. Okay. That's enough. I suppose you want to keep that one. Well, fine then. Okay. Then we got some Izod. Oh, oh geez. I had those nice, so nice too. And now they're going to be wrinkled. Oh, I'll take care of them. Okay, you're going to have to iron all of them. Izods, these are all just big and tall sizes, so we're not going to go through every size. But, like, what's the yellow tag on that, say? $15. So it was $7.50. That's too much. Oh, jeez. This is $10. So it was 5 This is 15 so it's seven fifty. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. More Izod sweaters. Those are all the same. They were 15 so they were seven fifty. I got a couple different colors. You don't have to show all those because they're the same. Same with this, these um, PGA Tour fleeces, and they were 15, so I only paid 750. Okay, what's that pile, Dad? Arrow? Yeah. yeah, and they were originally 10, yeah. so I paid five. What's the uh, manufacturer retail on those? 65,000, 50,000. $50,000 mm -hmm. or $50? Yeah. Yep. This is. Regular 54. Yeah. And it was 
and I paid five. Another one. Hundred and five. Hundred and five. Fifty four and you paid five. Yeah. Nice yeah, what's that one? What was the oh, original? Uh, $60. And I paid $750. Oh, how much were these IZOD? Yeah, 70 on those IZOD sweaters. Okay, more big and tall. I think these are like the 3XLs. How much was uh, $60. $60 manufacturer retail? 15. So I paid $750. Those are all 3XLs. I think that's the same. $60. Just, yeah, different color. 15. So I paid $750. Van Heusen. Seventy dollars. You paid ten. Was it originally the yellow tag was twenty? Uh -huh. oh, I guess I did pay a little more for those. Another Van Heusen. Sixty and fifteen. Well, Seven fifty. More Izod. Izod. This is uh, fifty-two. Regularly Clear's fifty. 15. So I paid seven fifty. Retail fifty two. I paid seven fifty. the same thing. Oh, yeah, I got multiples of that red one. All the same. Yep, all the same. That's what multiples mean. All the same. <laughs> <laughs> and then some in the yellow. Yeah, I think they were all. Fifty two and fifteen. Seven fifty. Three hundred and eighty five thousand. <laughs> fifty two and seven fifty. <laughs> yeah, those are all the same. So we don't need to like show every one of those because they're all the same. Okay. Yellow, red, and that's the same too. Okay. And more Van Heusen. I think I already showed some of those. Yeah. Same. Sixty dollars. Yeah. Fifteen. So I paid seven fifty. Okay. So those are the that's the same. Then over Henley, I paid seven fifty. What's the retail of that? Sixty five. Okay. These um, here on the on the chair. An Izod. Need to hang that up before it gets any more wrinkled. So that's a three extra large tall. So that's why I was willing to pay ten for it, because that is a that's a hot size. And then I got these Hurley shorts because they were, they only cost me, that's the yellow tag, they only cost me five each. So, there. And then some purses. Here we have a Nine West, and I paid 11 for it. What's the retail on that one? $89. Oh my gosh. Their price is $89. Their price. And here's a Nicole Miller, and I paid... This is 98. 98 and, and I paid, paid what? Six. And I paid six. And it's a nice spring color, so hopefully it'll sell fast. I got three of these Kenneth Cole Reaction. $99, 14. So I paid Eight seven. For these, all these. Yep, those are all the same. Okay. These two are the same. They are... May West, nine West. Nine West, and the retail on them is here, this one. 79 and yeah. I paid eight yeah. <laughs> and then this one same thing retail 79 I paid eight and that's everything dad oh. now you don't have to wash any of it and I don't think you have to iron anything either okay. does that make you happy yes now I got to find a place to put it all so I can list it I need another clothing rack I don't want to have to buy one we could string up a um Get a clothes hanger and <laughs> string it through the living room. If you take those racks you got downstairs, spread them out, you put a rod in between them, a wood rod or something. Yeah, I don't know that hold though. Oh, for God's sake, if you don't think it will, then don't do it. Jeez. <laughs> oh, okay, thanks, Dad. Yeah. It is now Monday night and just had a couple eBay orders come through. Um, I accepted a best offer on this new with tags IZOD that I got uh, at Goodwill, which is funny because I just got a bunch of it today at Gordman's. Um, I paid less, it would have been less than two bucks for this at Goodwill. It's a two X, no, an extra large tall. Um, I had it up for 26 with best offer and somebody offered me, I think he offered 10, I countered with 15, 
then he wanted twelve fifty. So I was like, you know what, whatever. Because I just have so much clothing around here and I just want to get rid of some of it. Um, so yeah, $12.50 on that. And then this is an Eddie Bauer jacket that I picked up at Goodwill. I would have paid less than 3 bucks for it. And it sold on sale. I think that 50% off sale is still going. So it sold for $12.49. Um, so, you know, not huge profits. 10 bucks on each of them. But, you know, profits, profit. I'll take it. And the buyers, of course, paid shipping on top of those prices. So... Um, I don't have to eat any shipping expenses and this is pretty bulky. I don't think I can get that in a flat rate. Um, so they're both going to have to go in, uh, poly bags. Hey guys, it's Tuesday and it's a lovely day out. Look at the loveliness of the sun. Um, I just got out of the doctor. I had to come see my hematology specialist since I'd been in the hospital. So I just wanted to do a blood check and just to check there wasn't I'm like I'm fine everything's fine let me go she's like we won't be giving you a Nupigen shot today I'm like good because I don't like them don't give them to me um so goals for today obviously I have my blog work to do and then hopefully I can get back to doing some eBay listing although when I got up this morning the first thing Papa says to me is will you take me to Menards I'm like okay Oh God, I hate Menards. I hate Lowe's. I hate Home Depot. I'm a girl. We don't belong in those stores. Okay, okay. I know there are people. I know there are women who like that. You like the gardening, the home improvement. Okay. But I don't think most women like going to the home improvement store. Am I right? Um, every time I say that, I get like friends are like, but I love it there. Okay, I get it. It's fine. Um, so anyway, I will have to take Papa to Menards sometime today. And I had two eBay orders overnight. That'll show you two small ones. But again... Uh, the way things are going slow, I am willing to uh, just move some old inventory out at half price and if that's what it goes for and the buyers are paying shipping and I got it super cheap in the first place, then I'm okay with that. Back home now and here are the uh, two eBay sales I told you about. Uh, this is a set of, oh no, oh I did it wrong. I don't think these are all together. Yeah, it's just these four. Whoops, <laughs> almost sent those too. Um, these four that I got at a fill bag sale. Uh, they sold for $9.99, buyer paid shipping on top of that. And then these little Maxwell mini DVDs I got at Staples on clearance for 50 cents each. I originally thought about sending them to Amazon FBA, but then I decided I could maybe make more money if I lotted them on eBay, but they've been sitting, 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 sitting. I finally got them down to $12.49 and they sold um, buyer paid shipping on that as well. Now I need to double check. Was Did I sell these or did I sell these? Hmm, better double check that. Double checked, yes, it was these four. <laughs> Those two are still listed. <laughs> and the sun is out, so I can finish taking photos of my flatware today. Yay! Let's vlog at Menards, where you save big money. You get 11 rebate. Oh, 11% rebate on everything in the store this Including week. Including sale prices. Including sale prices. Well, for crying out loud, let's hurry and get a cart. You want to get in that little cart and I'll push you in the car. Oh, I don't think that is It's cute. I don't think Here's the clearance section. <laughs> clearance food. Which is already expensive anyway here. Root beer caramel corn. Hmm. Reese's footballs. Back home now and I'm exhausted. <laughs> My get up and go got up and went and I think it stayed at Menards. Oh, I don't know what how much work I'm going to get done today. I mean I've got my regular work and stuff done but I don't know. I just need to take a break. I need to take a rest. But I wanted to share a couple things with you first. Um, first is that I just got the Amazon Surprise Suites Dash Box. This is a new thing where I've shared the Amazon sample boxes with you guys before. Um, it's kind of along the same lines. Um, you get on a waiting list. It's invitation only to get one of these dash boxes or I'm sorry, dash buttons. $4.99 and you get a $4.99 credit back. Then you hook it up to your phone, Android device, and then when you press it, they will send you a sweet box full of handmade artisan 
treats and all kinds of stuff and it's $18.99. So I wanted to test it out to see if it was a good deal and I could post it on my blog um, and do that. So I just set it up and I just ordered my first box and that'll get here Friday. So I will share that with you and I'll do a blog post on it um, for those of you who are interested in that. Uh, then I thought I would share my candy club order for February. Um, so Candy Club is a monthly subscription service. You can choose, I think, three months, six months, or 12 months. You can send it as a gift. You can let them select the candies, or you can pick your own. And I do the pick your own. Um, so here is what it looks like. It always comes so nicely packed. And little cards tell you what's in it. So um, they also put surprise just handful of candies in and these are the Atkinson's rainbow twist wild cherry flavors in a rainbow color twist these definitely are right a lot of the candies are retro vintage inspired um, yeah cool got a bunch of these then the three candies I chose I got this for Papa and it is the Albanese California mix and it has the sunny fruit nut medley almonds raisins banana chips cashews dates and more. Not sure what else more. Oh, there's sunflower seeds, Brazil nuts, coconut chips. Did I say that? So yeah, Papa likes that kind of stuff. So I like that. Then I also got um, some, oh, they said, uh, okay. I thought I ordered almonds and cashews, but they sent bridge mix, which is fine. We've had it before. Papa likes it, but maybe I messed up. Anyway, bridge mix. And then chocolate covered cashews so I will link candy club below if you're interested they're always doing some kind of free box promotion special when you sign up um, so check the links below the video if you're interested in learning more about candy club it's now later in the day on Tuesday we're getting ready to go out to dinner tonight yay I'm so excited I haven't been out to eat forever I have to give Papa like two days notice before he'll agree to go <laughs> um, but I just sold this Ralph Lauren men's shirt on eBay, I got it at the consignment store, I think. So I would have paid less than a buck for it. Uh, it sold on sale for $9.99, and the buyer paid shipping on top of that. It is light enough to go be a first class, and I'm so happy because I got all of my flatware listed. Every single bit of it is now on eBay, and if it all sold today for the price I'm asking, I'd make a thousand dollars and that's pretty exciting so I will never let flatware get this backed up again I swear um, but yeah it was worth it to push through well I did it most I mean some of this was already listed I didn't do all of this um, but you know I worked really hard over the weekend and then I did the last three um, just now so I'm so glad to have that done Papa's eating. <laughs> they good? Good. Okay, guys, it's now Tuesday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tuesday evening. We just got back from dinner. It was so nice to get out. <laughs> Haven't eaten out in ages, but the weather's like really, really nice here. And like I said, I gave my dad you know, a good notice. If I try to spring going out on him when it's actually time to go, he's like, no, I can't. But if I wait, then it's usually better. So anyway, um, I'm down here in my basement inventory area because I'm going to do, um, I've got books uh, to scan for Amazon. So this is what I'm thinking <coughs> for Amazon. I know some of you guys commented on this as well. Um, I'm going to scan stuff. If the rank is good and it's going to sell pretty you know, quickly. I think I am going to do FBA. I'll send in an FBA. If the rank is, you know, it's a bad rank or it just takes really long time to sell, I'll keep it here and I will cross list it both Amazon and eBay. Some of the things like I got at Barnes and Noble the other day, I can list that right now, Merchant Fulfilled, and I can cross list it on eBay. And then late summer, early fall, I can always change that and send that stuff in if it looks like, you know, it would sell faster for the holidays. So, um, still thinking I might do some things for FBA. I canceled my 
the pro seller account, the $39.99 a month, because, um, you know, once I dumped a lot of slow moving inventory, I'm now down to about 500 listings of slow, it's, things are selling every day. Uh, what's funny is, you know, I dumped a bunch of stuff and then I had a payout of like $46 for the two weeks. Um, and then the long-term storage fee hit. And I think I had gotten it down to like 30 bucks. So currently right now I'm minus $7 for the two weeks. But, you know, I'm usually selling maybe like one thing a day. Um, some days I'll have a few more, but I haven't been hitting that 40 item a month um, threshold in the past month in order to make the pro seller account worth it because $39.99 a month, you can um, you do not get charged an extra 99 cent fee per item that sells. If you don't have the account or the, if you don't have a pro seller account, you pay 99 cents additional for every item that sells. So if you have something and it's $10, you're gonna pay the FBA fees on that plus 99 cents. So if you are selling more than 40 items a month, it's worth it to have the pro seller account because $39.99, you're covered and you're not paying that 99 cents. If you're selling less, you might as well just pay the 99 cents because your numbers are lower. So right now, the way things are going, um, I don't have it. The thing with it is you can always start it up again. So if I, for some reason, found more stuff and you know circumstances changed, then I could always put it back in. Um, but like I said, I can cross list a lot of stuff too. And a lot of this stuff, you know, that I showed you the Barnes and Noble Hall last week, um, I know it's not gonna sell right now. I know I have to hang on to it for a while. And that is again, why I always buy as cheap as possible, because especially with retail arbitrage, you know, first of all, even though like kind of these small short-term clearance sales, every store is different. A lot of this stuff is at a lot of stores. So that's why I showed you these hauls because, um, you know, like those Finding Nemo, Finding Dory lights, you know, there's already like 18 or so up on Amazon. Actually, that was two days ago when I checked. So I'm sure there's more now. So a bunch of people went out and got the same thing. They're listing them now. They're going to hang on. Um, I'm willing to cross list and I'm willing to wait. I have no problem just putting this stuff away. I have plenty of room down here. I'm already looking at two empty shelves, two empty um, things on the bottom over on my storage area. I'm like, I'm just gonna put it back there, list it and forget it. I'm trying to get in the list it and forget it mode. I, I can never forget it. But <laughs> I'm trying to let things sit a little longer because I wanna maximize my net profit. Um, I know there's, you know, there's two schools of thought. Number one, blow everything out every week, have lots and lots of uh, volume. And there are people who do that and it works for them, that's great. Then there's the list it and forget it, just list everything you have, sit on it, and that works great. And I, I'm always like kind of in the middle. I'm trying to find the balance. I don't wanna list it forever, but yet I don't wanna blow it out, you know, and do the volume. So just kind of always trying to find the happy medium. But now I'm gonna wrap up this video. Um, so I can get to scanning. And uh, if you guys liked this vlog, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I guess the new thing now is that under the video where there's a subscribe button, there's a little bell. And if you click on the little bell, then you get notified when new videos go live. Because some people are, videos are getting buried in their feed and they're missing videos. So I guess they, they want us, they, the people that be, that are, that are you to want us to tell you to hit that little bell that's next to the subscribe button. I don't know what it does. I don't even have a bell on. Maybe I should turn my own bell on and then it will like notify me when I do anything. But anyway, okay guys. So uh, just a reminder, all the links I mentioned in today's video or this vlog, which is a two day vlog are below. So go check them out. And now I'm gonna stop babbling and say goodbye. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.